Hi, I'm George Pearson, and these are just a few examples from some of the training videos I have here on YouTube. Now, when you're working with the training, following along the training, if you want to get the materials I used in the training, just go to the description down below and click on the link that's at the top of the description, and this will take you to a page where you can download the materials. Please subscribe, click the like button, and of course, always share on Facebook, Twitter, or wherever. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the video. This is a special advanced technique video here on working with Photoshop elements, and it's all about shapes. Over here we have these shapes. These are under the graphics tab, as you can see there, graphics panel. Lots of really interesting shapes in here. You can do a lot of stuff with these shapes. I use these all the time. All you have to do is to grab a shape. Let's just that file up here. I'm going to double click on this. Brings this butterfly shape up. Let's just enlarge that a little bit. And then we'll go over here to effects. And let's just take a look at our complex effects and we'll put something on there. And there you go. Instant artwork. It's just that easy to do. So these shapes are real interesting, real nice, real fun to use. But, you know, it's a little bit limiting on what's available. There's a lot of stuff here, but you may want to have something else which isn't available over here on the shapes. Unfortunately, you can't make new shapes inside of Photoshop Elements because these are vector-based graphics and Elements works with gra vector-based graphics but doesn't create them, so you don't have that ability. But there are lots and lots of vector-based shapes online you can download for free that are designed for Photoshop. Luckily, you can use those same shapes inside of Photoshop Elements. Now they won't show up over here, but you can see them if you go over here to the Shape tool, click on Custom Shape, and then click on the shape itself right here. In this Shape dialog box, you can choose which set of shapes you want to look at. For instance, here's the Characters Shapes, and we have our Animals Shapes. There's that Butterfly Shape, for instance, right there. But you also can bring in additional shapes. And just drop down to there. There you go. This is a set of shapes that I installed that I found over on the internet for free. Let me show you how you can do this. I can get these new customized shapes. It's actually very easy to do. I'm just going to double click on this one. Bring that up. There we go. There is this custom shape. I, I can apply my styles to this anything I want to. It works just like these other shapes. Then let's see how this is done. It's again easy to do, but there's a little trick to it. So I'll first bring up a couple of folders here. Here is a folder. Let me just double click on that. And this particular shape set has 16 Photoshop cup shapes in it, coffee and tea cups. Each one of those is a graphic shape. Now I found these online at a site called shapesforfree.com. There are several different places online. Just go ahead, go on to Google or someplace and do a search for free Photoshop shapes and you'll find a lot of these different shapes. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of different shapes that you can download for free and then bring into your program. Now the trick on this is you have to know where to put this. First off, here is the actual shape file. It's a CSH file, as you can see right there, .csh. You can put this any place you want to on your hard drive. It doesn't matter where this is. Just anywhere you want. You, I have a folder just for storing shapes in, and you put it in there. Now we need to get it from here and we have to get it over into Photoshop Elements so that it shows up in our shape list right there. Again, easy to do if you know the trick. So let me show you where this is. What you have to do is you have to navigate to the right location where Adobe stores their custom shapes. Now you'll want to be going into your user folder here on Photoshop or on Windows, rather, Windows 8, it's called Users. On earlier versions of Windows, they, it was My Computer or Computer, you know, different names for it, but it's all basically the same thing. It's where it's the default place that Windows puts all of your files. Inside there, there's a folder called App Data. Now, this is a hidden folder, so you need to be able to show that folder. I have mine shown right here. I'm currently on Windows 8 in desktop mode. And so this may look a little bit different from your computer depending upon which version of, of Windows you're in, but it basically runs the same. Some versions you have to right click to choose hidden items or not. 
in Windows 8 it's just like that. So make sure that hidden items are shown so you can see that app data folder. Then double click on that and double click on the folder named roaming right there. Bring that up and then double click on the folder named Adobe. In here you'll find all of the different Adobe products installed on your system. Now these are just storage places for additional stuff for these. These aren't where the programs are stored. This is just where additional stuff for the programs is saved for Adobe. We want Photoshop Elements, so double click on that. You can see right now I have version 10 and version 13 of Elements installed on my system. Let's go into version 13, that's what I'm using at the moment. And then into Presets. And there's all kinds of spots here for presets. And you know, if you save brushes, they would be in here. If you have actions, they would be in here. What we care about right here is this one called Custom Shapes. Double click on there. And here we go. All you have to do now is to copy the shape from wherever you saved it on your computer. Copy that into this folder, this Custom Shapes folder. Again, it's in your user folder, but that name happens to be, mine happens to be named George. You know, whatever your user folder is named, in the hidden folder app data, and then in Roaming, Adobe, Photoshop Elements, whatever your version name number is that you're working with, presets and custom shapes. Simply copy the CSH file into this folder, and you're done. Then you'll have to close down Photoshop Elements and reopen it if it wasn't open. As soon as you do that though, you'll then see those new custom shapes listed down here at the bottom above the default. And you can have several different shapes in there, but they'll be listed above your default shapes. And that's all there is to it. So you can really expand the shapes that you have available to you, not just what's shown over here, but add in all kinds, you know, hundreds and hundreds of other shapes for all kinds of techniques and all kinds of uses. Just go online, do a search for free Photoshop shapes and see what you like, download it, find that CSH file and copy it to the appropriate directory. Close down and reopen Photoshop Elements and there you go. So you go over here, this is the custom shape tool right there. Click on that tool, click on shapes, click on the drop down list, come down to the bottom and that's where your shapes are going to be hiding. Let me just bring that up one more time. So save the file anywhere you want to on your computer. This stuff happens to be on my hard drive someplace. And then navigate to your username, the hidden folder, app data, roaming, Adobe, Photoshop Elements, your version number, presets, custom shapes, and copy the CSH file into this folder, and you're all set. There you go. A little fancy advanced secret tip in here on how to work with Photoshop Elements. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop Photography Project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this training video.